Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. Now this video is basically just going to show you guys the new opportunity mission that has become available today, which is basically the second gem robbery mission for the Ruby. So I'll let you guys watch the cutscene and everything and then I will do a little bit of pre-explaining before you actually get to see me run through the mission. But here is the Ember of the East and yeah, this is the cutscene. Senator Ricard, you recall we spoke of him? The man who has so foolishly been trying to make his reputation at the expense of my employer. He wishes to put himself and his beloved Lemoyne in the headlines of next year's Centennial State Fair in Sacramento. And he has devised quite the centerpiece. Three of the world's most famous jewels brought together for a single exhibition. Except we will ensure they never meet. One by one. As they are taken west, you will find them, you will procure them, and if you value my friendship as highly as you should, you will bring them to me. Today's prize, the Ember of the East, a flawless ruby, quite unique. Its color has been described as that of blood fresh from a deep wound. The stone is said to exert a potent influence on those around it, breeding jealousy, fear, even violence. A dozen have died trying to obtain it. I trust you will not be the thirteenth. The jewel has just made landfall in Annisburg under heavy guard. Though where exactly it is being held, you will need to discover for yourself. Okay, now you guys have seen the cutscene and you know what this mission is all about, I wanted to talk about the different ways of doing this. Now, there is very clearly an option to do this stealthily, as it says to explore the area caref carefully, so I do recommend um, using your improved bow and throwing knives. And you can sneak along the shoreline down here, um, as long as you're careful and make sure that you're far enough away that the guards won't spot you initially, like they actually end up doing on my um, actual run-through that you guys are going to see in a minute. But I don't really see the point in going in silently. It's much quicker and easier to actually just go in <laughs> loud and just go in with the shotgun and shoot all the enemies and loot everyone, basically. The guys that you really need to make sure that you loot are the ones that are sort of... They've got, like, the little character icon on the map, not just the red dot. And that's going to be a... I think it's a senator liaison and the foreman that will be up in one of the buildings. And basically, well, you don't even have to loot them. You can loot them to get the keys um, if you're trying to do it silently. But if you're trying to do it loud or just not worried about getting caught, you can just boot the doors in. As you will hear, there's some dialogue in a second that I managed to pick up by sneaking around that actually tells you as much that the doors are weak and you don't need the keys. So that kind of negates the necessity to do it quietly. Um, if you needed the keys, then you might necessarily need to go quietly, but you don't really need to at all. Um, I got it, the when I did it loud and went in with the shotgun, I got it done in all of five minutes. When I actually tried to do it quietly, it took a lot longer because, yeah, it's just obviously sneaking around and stuff. So I thought I would talk about that um, and let you guys see some of the dialogue so that you know that that's an option. Um, just to try and speed it up for you guys um, as well. I did go through several times and loot lock boxes and stuff that I found. I found no Capitale um, in any of those boxes again. So I don't know if I'm just getting incredibly unlucky spawns, um, but it does seem to be like quite hard to get the Capitale in all of these missions. So yeah, you can do this quietly, I would guess. I never got through it all quietly. Um, but I would recommend just going in with a shotgun and plenty of health tonics and get it done quickly and easily. 
but you can tell where the gem is by listening to the dialogue and inspecting clues. Um, make sure to go into Eagle Eye, you will spot things um, that are actually glowing. Similar to in Bounty missions where you can pick up clues, um, they will have the, the golden sparkles coming off of them. There was one I spotted up by the mines that was like a, a cart, but when I tried to follow the track, the track wasn't actually properly displaying and it was like behind me the whole time, which was making it very difficult to follow. So yeah, that's a really interesting point. But I'll let you guys finish watching this clip and then I'll talk to you on the next clip that I will show. Okay, so final clip before we go into the actual whole run through of me doing the mission for the first time for you guys to see. If you go up sort of around the back way of Annisburg, you'll notice there is a guy that you can actually take out with your bow or throwing knives. I did it with both just to test it out. Um, and once you've taken him out, you can then enter the mine. And as long as you sneak quietly, there will be a guy stood with a dynamite plunger and you can then uh, explode all the dynamite inside the mine. I did this and it didn't kill all of the enemies any of the times that I did it. So it was kind of pointless because it just, <laughs> even though it alerted, um, it alerts everyone in the town and it did wipe out a few of the enemies. But yeah, it's there and it's an option for you to use if you want to try and at least get some kind of head start and get some kind of, you know, quiet start. But yeah, that is an option. There was an option for the previous mission as well with a plunger. Pretty much the same thing. It's optional. You really don't need to do it. But I thought I would just show it off in this because I did find it and it is incredibly easy to do if you want to do something with a little bit more flair. But yeah, basically the chest is going to be one of these three locations. Um, it seems like it will be in the sheriff's office up where the foreman was that in I showed in the previous clip or here in the mine which is where it was for my first actual go through of it um, and it will be in a big wooden chest the same as it was on the train so it's not going to be a little lockbox or something so you'll know as soon as you see it but yeah I'll now stop rambling and let you guys watch my first playthrough of the mission that I did um, please forgive any sort of me looking around and stuff is because I've, I hadn't done the mission before and I was still trying to work thing, a couple of things out so please forgive any of that but you should get the idea basically kill the people check the three locations grab the jewel and then ride up to by the falls and deliver it to uh to Martelli so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoy and let me know down in the comments how it's gone for you if you've had any issues with this and yeah I'll be really interested to hear thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon
work together again. I'm certain of it. Thank you.